Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today I have two really easy and funky bass lines for you in A minor 7. So just to guide you through um, some of the elements of those bass lines, they're you know, really easy, not too fast. I think they're really great for beginner bass players, but at the same time, I want to teach you a few elements that I think will help you out, especially if you're starting out on bass. So the three elements that I want to focus on today with those two bass lines are rhythm, are positioning and technique and articulation. Three things that would definitely elevate your bass line if you're gonna focus on them today. So why don't we start with just hearing that first bass line and then we're gonna talk about that. the rhythm a little okay so we start with those quarter notes that are on the beat and then we're coming in with the eighth notes and then the secret ingredient that makes every bass line groovy the upbeat so the upbeat basically means that it doesn't go right on the click right so let me explain what the upbeat means we have eighth notes meaning we are dividing our beat to two equal notes to two equal notes right so we have instead of just one, two, three, four, now we have one and two and three and four and. That and is the upbeat. That's what makes everything so groovy. Most of the bass lines that you like probably have it hidden somewhere. So we're taking that upbeat, we're taking that syncopation, and then we're putting it back in right in towards the end of the second bar, right? So we have a quarter note on the downbeat, Okay, so it's very important that you'll be able to count that that way and make sure that that upbeat comes in a very accurate time and that's what's going to push you towards wanting to hear that second bar okay so that's for this line not much articulations uh but i do want you to be very aware of the length of note that you're playing so you can have it very staccato -y. you can have it a little longer what I recommend is finding a space in between that uh, makes it kind of groovy or funky I think the secret here is to mix it up you know you can start with short If we're talking about positioning, um, you will be able to see that I'm not moving my hands much. I'm really sticking to that chord shape that you may learn in the future. And then you go reach a little further down for that flat seven. But otherwise, you can see that I'm not really moving much. Okay, so that's for the position. Um, really important that you get the groove. If anything, I want you to really, really practice on having it sit with the groove and catching that, that upbeat and really getting those quarter notes on the beat. That's the biggest difference between a, a good bass player and a bad bass player. It's not about the speed. It's not about the amount of notes. It's about how you lock yourself into that groove. That being said, let's go to groove number two. So you can see that what we're doing is very similar, but we went a little bit higher up just to check how it feels. And we started using eighth notes right in the beginning. So we go, those two notes are eighth notes. Again, we want to separate them as clearly as possible. Um, we didn't let go of that upbeat. We're coming from that G is an upbeat landing on a downbeat. And then we have that C, which is an upbeat landing on the downbeat of D. Okay, so we're already spicing it up with a few more upbeats for you to practice on. And then you probably already noticed that there's a very cool moment right there towards the end. 
right? So let me explain that, that cool moment. This is actually articulations. Now, what are articulations and bass? Um, it's really just small nuances of decoration that we're putting in, okay? So for example, when I went to that higher D, we have that uh, little line. This is what happens when I play just clear and simple. But what I did is two things and I rotate it in between them. So one is sliding into that D, which adds like an extra oomph to the bass line, right? And then the second thing I did is I hammered on to that D from the C before it. Now it's very, very small, and sometimes it's hard to notice the difference between this and this is pretty significant, right? So you want to practice the two of them. And again, if you're only starting to play bass, I know that the tendency is to like try to play as fast as you can and as, as complicated as you can, but there's a lot of magic that is happening in those nuances that's going to elevate your bass playing like you wouldn't even know. Okay? So that's what you want to um, do when you approach that second bass line. Now, I have this play along for you, all ready for you to practice on. You've had the tabs over here. You can go back and make sure it's okay to learn it by heart and then practice it with a play along. Just remember to practice it and do it on time to the click with a pocket. Um, speaking of time, I am actually starting a new workshop, a new group class from June 17th that's going to focus strictly on rhythm. Why? Because rhythm is what can make or break your bass playing. And I'm very happy to be focusing on this on my next group class. You can see the link for the sign up right down here. Please subscribe over here and I hope you enjoy your playing.